arrived at the Hotel de Glace and I had no idea what to expect, even though I've been working with ice and snow for years. <laughs> it is just stunning. And they built this marshmallow, who's our uh, scary, snowman. scary snowman, for real here. And they could only fit half of him in the room. He's so big. Oh my God. I think that's just when it really hit me. I mean, the power of ice and snow is right there. And, and the place is gorgeous. They did such a beautiful job with the architecture from our film and bringing that to life here. It's just absolutely breathtaking, and I really now also appreciate how powerful Elsa is to have raised a roof, because that stuff weighs tons and tons. I guess for me especially, I came here about five years ago to do research, and that was trying to figure out what a structure of ice and snow would look like. So for me, it's kind of coming full circle, coming back to where you know I started with the project, and now coming back here after the movie and after the world has you know really kind of taken it and made it their own, which is really exciting. So I don't know, it's pretty uh, it's pretty emotional to be back. Mm -hmm. I'm vlogging. Me too. <laughs> it's very poignant to end at the Hotel de Glace. It is surrounded by ice and snow, which started the whole thing. And think of the emotional journey that we brought the characters on and the emotional journey we've been on. Um, yeah. Uh, this this has been one of the greatest, you know, experiences we've ever had and, yeah. and most intense. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of tears as we say goodbye to this portion of it. But yeah, it's been what a great what a great way to end the frozen journey, but to come back here. Yeah.